So how did you come up with the name Trash Bag Ponchos? It all relates to my one of many of my crappy jobs where I worked at uh, Chuck E. Cheese and uh, in high school. And for I worked there for a few years, and we'd always have to take the trash out. And it was just pour rain. So we'd just take trash bags, cut them open, put them on so we didn't get our nice uniforms dirty and wet, and uh, take them out. And I was like, man, that's a really cool name. That, so was, that was Derek. Oh, yeah. Would you like to introduce that was, that was yourself? <laughs> I, I'm Jim. Jim Hall. I'm Derek Shelton. I'm Josh. I play drums. Pretty well. <laughs> so what What did the rest of you play? I, I play lead guitar. So this is Jim again. And uh, <laughs> I sing lead vocals as well. I play rhythm guitar and backup vocals. Yeah, I'm, I'm Josh again. And I, I play drums. But again. still. <laughs> <laughs> How did the band form? Well, uh, <coughs> me and Derek uh, met freshman year, Radford University, and I've always wanted to start a band in college. So I talked to Derek and our friend Chris, and Josh is from my hometown, so I invited him to play drums. I, I wasn't even an original member. This is correct. I, I, Jim was the original drummer. <laughs> Jim, Jim can't play drums all that great. This is true. And uh, Jim wanted to form a what I call Coheed and Cambria <laughs> style band, but none of us were half as good enough to play uh, like I'm that. I'm still not good enough to play that. So uh, we decided, hey, we like punk rock. Let's Power give that a shot. Power chords are fun. It's way easier. <laughs> <laughs> and better. <laughs> so I see there are only three of you here. What happened to your bassist? We are currently uh, without a bassist. We're, uh, we're conducting uh, auditions for bassists. We've had we have had uh, two people play, <laughs> but a third offer. Oh yeah. yeah, we have a third offer on the table. Uh, forming uh, founding uh, founding member Chris Hurd uh, used to play bass for us. He just pretty much is way too busy with uh, school and <coughs> life right now, <coughs> so he backed out. But uh, no hard feelings there. We all, we all moved to Blacksburg, and he still lives in Radford, so it's kind of hard for him to make all the practices and stuff too. Why did the band relocate? We got tired of living in Rafford. Yes. Uh, we, um, all, we all commute to Rafford University. We're, we're a like fun-loving <laughs> band. A, yes, we like to have a good time, and Rafford is tired of people having a good time. Uh, not to talk bad about Rafford. And Blacksburg's a lot cooler. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> we are now Blacksburg fun punk. <laughs> <laughs> so what's this news about a tour coming up? I was making that up. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to go on tour. No one else is going to go with me. We have, to, we have to Milwaukee. We have a show in, in October at Champs on October the 6th. It's our next show. We shoot rides. That we have lined up. With, we'll be playing with the, with the awesome, the greatest band ever, uh, Lee Street Riots. Also, The Makeout and Taser. Yes, also those also great bands. <laughs> so what does the Trash Bag Poncho stand for? What what drives you to make more music? Hmm. We like to um, we like rock and roll. You know, we got <laughs> sweat. We got tired of Blood. these these <laughs> these bands on the radio that are just so fake and they're not fun. You can't dance around to them. You know, they play stuff other than power chords. Uh, what is that? Derek's all about dancing. You gotta keep it simple. And power chords. Dancing and power chords. Uh, so yeah, we just like to have fun, and music is about having fun to us. So we play fun music and sing about doing fun things. Thanks. Like, I, d I don't know if we can say all these fun things. In our like earlier days, drinking. <laughs> well, lots of songs about drinking, <laughs> and no uh, some li <laughs> life experiences, uh, <laughs> romantic mishaps. Um, oh yeah, that's a good right, way oh, yeah, of putting it. There you go. That's like you know, life. We sing about life. The good times, the bad times. The in-between times. And hanging out with your friends. And that stuff. Word. <laughs> so, who do you really want to share the stage with or play a show with? Right now, I'm happy with the Lee Street Riots. They're yeah. a great band. We're kind of a good, uh, we, good, good we combo package there. We play most of our shows with them. They're really cool guys. Valiant Thor. Oh, yeah, that would be awesome. We missed the two funerals. They were... Uh, 
they were they that was that was a good uh they will be missed out of the Blacksburg scene. But uh, yeah. <coughs> so uh, I understand you're participating in a Roanoke Times project called Cram. What's that all about? Uh, we joined the Cram a while back with some songs off our first CD that did not turn out very good. And although we are, I guess, a part of the Cram community, which is supposed to be about local music and stuff, I really haven't seen much about it. And our songs on there are not our top caliber, and we haven't updated that in, like, nine months. <laughs> so we're not really a part of Cram. <laughs> And to be honest, I really don't know what Cram is. I never knew we were yeah, part of Cram. Josh and I were never informed of this. We we just learned that. <laughs> just now? Yeah. Because Derek does all the work. Yeah. I just sing the songs. It's true. Yeah. And I just play drums. So what are you, <coughs> what, what's the band listening to? What's in your CD players, MP3 players, or iTunes? Hmm. That Valiant Thor, really. I just listen to the Bouncing Souls on repeat. Uh, Wolf Mother. Lots of Wolf Mother. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Casualties. <laughs> and um, the uh, Ramones. Fall, Fallout Sex, Boy. Sex Pistols. Pan oh, panic at the Disco. Oh, yeah. Panic at the Disco. They're awesome. Def Leppard. <laughs> Journey. <laughs> I'll listen to Real Van rock. Halen. <laughs> Van Halen, not Van Hagar. Not Van Hagar. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, these are your, these bands are your influences, or... <laughs> Not, maybe. Rock and roll is our influence. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> the history of rock and roll. Um, what? Definitely what? the Bouncy Souls are my the reason I listen to and play music. I, I don't know who our influences are. Yeah, really. I don't really. I just, I'm my own influence for this band. I just play. I don't know what, I don't try to mimic any other sounds. <laughs> we just go. I just start playing and then we, we write songs. And now we're back with the trash bag ponchos <coughs> for the rest of this interview. So awesome. do you have any funny tour stories at all or funny traveling stories mm. with the band? We just really end up in like strange southern locales where no one wants to hear us a lot. Um, it's not, not that we're bad. It's just that we're not what they want to hear. One time, um, one time we played at JD's in Radford and uh, – Everybody in there pretty much made it obvious they did not want to hear our set. Yes, they. Uh, I, th I think it was actually country night. I think it was. And it's the only uh, time people have actually like yelled at us. We we played our songs it twice as fast just to get out of it there. It wasn't so much of them yelling as it was them just standing up and steady flow of people leaving the, the bar. But yeah. I, I felt really lonely and unloved. I guess we didn't know any Garth Brooks covers, so it wasn't their well, thing. I, I knew one, but... And I, I also know the one that Jim knows. Jim, this is this is a punk rock band, okay? God. I mean. So is that the worst <laughs> show you've ever played? Um, oh. I'm gonna have to go with, pre it's it's Ty at least. Yes, I'd say that. That's the probably the worst show. The one where you all you want to do is just pack up your stuff and leave. Um, yeah. Yeah. It. I don't think I've I've felt much worse at a show. But we made eighty dollars. All about the money. Isn't it's it? a plus side. All about the money. Somebody's got to pay for the CDs. Yeah, man. Whatever. <laughs> What's the best show you've ever played? Ooh, that's a good question. Ooh. Have we ever even discussed what the? I best don't think show we have discussed this. We always just talk about the bad shows. Yeah. <laughs> but I'd say the best one was in the basement at. Uh, <laughs> at least that was the best one for us. That was the most. That was the most fun and like. <laughs> right. What, what was, what was um. That? I like we the, had uh, the Oasis. The last couple of Oasis shows we oh did. Oh, yeah, they were fun, too. Uh, with the uh, Make Out, the Misled, the Two Funerals. Those were uh, Grundles. in the Grundles. We, uh, that was probably my favorite show. Uh, packed place. People actually got what we were about. Sold a lot of merchandise, so that's a good sign that people liked us. Yeah, I used to play basement shows, and those were always great. Just people coming out, partying, having a good time. People coming down in the basement wearing just trash bags and then getting no, them ripped no, off. No clothing under the oh, trash bag. And getting poncho. the trash bag ripped off their body and then running back upstairs. And then running upstairs screaming like a girl. It oh, was yeah, awesome. It wasn't a girl. 
<laughs> is that what you like your fans to do? Bird crash backs to your shows? Is that it? Well, that's pretty much the only time that's ever happened. But yeah, sure. That's I awesome. mean, if, if more people want to wear trash bags with no clothing underneath, I mean, that's that's optional. We fully support you. Yes. Yes. We will dedicate a song or two just for you. Yes. That would be a lot of uh, fun, I suppose. So is this EP your first uh, recording or release? This is uh, technically our second recording. Uh, we decided that uh, we needed a lot we needed uh, to get some recordings done just so we could get more shows. And uh, so we did some very low price recordings and uh, they really <coughs> didn't turn out exactly how we wanted them at all. Um, but uh, so we, we put out a first what we call self-titled CD and uh, that's just our, our first shot. And then uh, this new one we recorded with Lee Harless of wind rock recordings great guy knows what he's doing we're really looking forward to getting this one out because the quality is just so much better you can hear a rough version of what is supposed to be on the ep on myspace slash the trash bag ponchos what's so that website <laughs> www.myspace.com slash the trash bag ponchos so where can uh fans get merch if they'd like to purchase some shows um i would also feel f you know love to ship stuff out uh we can all our businesses run through myspace but uh shows are really the place to come because they're fun and you can buy our great merchandise i mean you definitely would want to see us first before you bought something i mean you don't buy and a car without have taking to, it for a test drive and you right? wouldn't have to pay for shipping <laughs> you just compare your band to a car? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> Steady very, at some very, points. Very smooth running instrument. <laughs> Yet occasionally breaks down. Need some work. Hit a couple bumps in the Sometimes. road. But then you get it out on the freeway, and it just glides. <laughs> we, can just do, like we can do like Josh and, and sell it and then buy another one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't sold the band yet. but We'll sell out. You give us uh, the papers and the $6 million contract. We'll do it. I'm not selling out, man. It's all about the music, dude. That was a test. Yeah. You passed. Yeah, yeah. I fail. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Stuff. Any other news about the band you'd like to talk about? We're going to talk about the bass player, right? Right? What's that? Hopefully we'll be uh, booking a lot more shows in the school year. We played like 10 shows over the summer when no one was here and got a pretty good crowd out. But uh, for some reason now, when the school year starts, uh, shows are an all-time low. But we want to play a lot more. We have, we have no shows lined up for this whole month of September. Not even one. It's sad. We might play one at the end of the month. but If anybody wants to play a show, you know, just let us know. Uh, Through MySpace. We're, we're pretty available. What's that website, Derek? Um, <laughs> www.myspace.com <laughs> slash the trash bag punches. Hey, why don't we tell them about merch again <laughs> while we're <laughs> plugging stuff? Hmm. Oh, so, hey, anybody want to buy a t-shirt? <laughs> Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Hey, anybody got a steel team t-shirt? <laughs> we once played with this uh, <laughs> southern rock band. <laughs> Known only as Steel Tame. I think they had a, a little metal. In a uh, battle of the bands. They're very, and, uh, talented, very good at what they do. Very, very good at what they do. We are notorious for playing amazing battle of the band shows. And then uh, we don't win somehow because you can't play. I'd say the show was pretty much decided who was going to win before, like, before anyone even we, played. Right. The, the judges will They're give like, you... They're like, oh, we, need, we need to have some competition for this band that's going to win. Let's let these guys play. And the judges will give you ratings that on originality they said the songs don't sound the same. I I don't know what originality means, but I thought that would mean, you know... So we, ha we have a... We don't like playing Battle of the Bands, essentially, because... We're going to lose. Even though we play really good and should have won. Well, I don't know if we should have won, but we shouldn't have lost to those guys. 
It was a fun I, show. Doesn't that mean we should have won? No. <laughs> or maybe. <laughs> Steel team rules. <laughs> <laughs> I should have got a shirt. Ten dollar. Gosh darn. Man. Really missed the boat on that one. Well, thanks for coming into the studio and um you, you just heard an interview with the Trasback Pontos of Blacksburg now. Represent. Previously Radford. This was the second part of the interview. We didn't have time to This is the extended version. If you're listening, you're very lucky. Yeah. Th thanks for tuning back into us. <laughs> this probably won't be heard. Yep. Yes, <laughs> yes, it will. I thought she just ended it. We'll be here all night. Will we? Well, we can just sit here and talk all night. I'll keep talking. I don't care. Anybody want to reminisce some more? Man, you remember that show where that uh, that that girl was like Jim Hall? You're 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 God to me. And yeah, I, and she threw the bra. Oh instead, yeah, the bra. And it got caught on my guitar. Oh, it did. It did. And I used it as a flag. Oh, you did. But he shredded anyway. Oh it man, like, it, was, it was sick. Oh, it was great. That was just. All right, peace. <laughs>